Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Robert, uh, and today I am late to something, very late to it, to say the least, uh, because today is going to be Kith TaylorMade, or to kick off today is going to be Kith TaylorMade. Now, whether or not I then go for Palace in an hour and a bit, I don't know. Um, I'm sort of hit and miss on whether I will or won't go for Palace, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, I, I really do like the piece, but at the same time, I can't see myself wearing it. I'd most probably give it to my brother, if anything, or I'd just sell it. So, realistically, I might just be going for Kith, and that's it. But, for Kith, I'm going to be going for the golf balls and a glove. I'm going to be going for a red glove in size small, and then just the golf balls. I would have gone for the tees, but, to be perfectly honest, it's just a waste of money, because... On the last time that I played golf with my brother, uh, I snapped four tees. Uh, which is why I don't use tees at all. I broke four, and they were all his. And one was plastic, and I broke it. So, yeah, let's just get into this drop anyway, because I should either get an email or it should update in a second. So, yeah, uh, let's get straight into this. Okay, and on that note, uh, it says shop now. So, I believe that it should... What is going on here? It should be up. Here we go. Here's the email from them at last. Right, shop Kith for TaylorMade. Why is it broken? It's got stuff, but it's not got the items. What is going on? What is this? There we go. Okay. Scroll, 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 scroll. Maybe they're under a different section. Golf balls. Glove. What are the gloves going to be under? Because clearly they're not under this. But stuff's updating, is it? I don't know. The golf balls are still there, which is great. Where are the gloves? There. Okay, gloves. Medium, really? Is that the smallest? Must be. I have to go medium. Okay. It's expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> Click which one contains a bicycle. I love these so very much. Right, let's check out. Okay. Now there are two sides to this. It's a lot of money. I know that. There we go, okay. All done, right. Now, it is a fair chunk of money, but at the same time for me personally, I paid like £18, maybe a bit more than that it was, uh, in the end, for the uh, Palace uh, Pro V1, Titleist Pro V1s. Currently, they're about £120 for three golf balls, uh, which is a single pack. It's not even a full pack like this. So, for me, I feel... Paying for four packs, £56, sort of levels it out. Now, they aren't Pro V1s, obviously, but at the same time, they've got some cool designs and cool changes to them. And yeah, the glove, to be honest, I really didn't want to be using my like Happy Gilmore Extra Butter one or Extra Butter New York one. Uh, personally, I really just, I don't feel like using it. I don't really want to. So yeah, uh, with that, I just feel that I'd rather pick their one up in red. Uh, I really want a size small, not a medium. I don't know why they're doing medium, medium, large, and then large. Why not do small, medium, large, maybe extra large? But yeah, medium's the, the best I'm going to get at the end of the day, I suppose. So can't really complain. But let's try and look through the collection to see what's sold out and such because it is so broken. Like the drop for it is so golf balls are sold out, clubs are sold out as well. I would genuinely, if I wasn't watching my money, you know, I would love to have bought like the putter, the driver, the wedges, the irons. I just can't do it. I really can't do it. It's too much. It's too much money, especially six hundred pounds for the bag. That is, ye god. Um, the covers are really cool as well, but I've got covers for things, so yeah. The other pieces I feel really cool and clean as well, like they really are. But I'm, I'm. It's just being smart with it. I really do like the shorts. I'll be honest, the fairway shorts, they're really, really clean. But I just, it's, it's not worth it at the end of the day. To be perfectly honest, it's not worth me spending the like two, three, four hundred pounds when realistically I don't play golf that frequently 
and I'd rather like keep the balls and just use the glove for when I do play golf. Obviously, more recently, I'll probably go a lot more with my brother more frequently uh, as of recent time. But yeah, I just feel it's not smart to do so. Right, let's open the accessories and the equipment. So under the accessories, we've obviously got all of the hats. Now, personally, I was going to pick up a visor because it's clean and they are very cool. Yeah, I don't know. It's not worth it. It's not worth doing. It is a really good collection and I didn't expect it from Kith. I'll be perfectly honest, I really didn't expect just out of the blue tailor-made. When I say that they don't miss, I genuinely mean it because... It's not to disrespect other brands or to put other brands down, but personally for me, for like one brand to just do say like, I don't know, trying to think of like collections that they do or have done. Like let's just go for the New Balance anniversary for instance, okay? Supreme have Nike or Nike, you know? Palace get Crocs and some other things like Adidas and things here and there. But when you go from a New Balance anniversary set after re releasing your classics and then your summer collection to then do tailor-made it's quite wild just to keep things like going because to step up from New Balance to go to a completely different area of golf of sport it's just insane so in terms of things that have sold out basically everything uh, medium in the red glove has sold out See, uh, my thing was was that I would either have gone for the black, the white, or the red. Personally, for me, I've got a white Nike glove, which I use basically daily because I do like practice swings every single day. So, yeah, for me, I've got white. I can ruin white. But red, you'll pull that red glove out and it will be clean. And I think specifically because it was included in the ad and the promo videos, a lot of people want it because of that fact. So, yeah, golf ball's gone. Putter cover gone as well. It is a clean putter cover, but I've I've got one that I like. Yeah, tees. 150. 150 for 20 pounds. See, it's not bad overall. It's not bad. Because a hundred uh, or a hundred pack, I'm quite certain, is about ten pounds, eight pounds. So 150, you might be going to like 15, 16 pounds. Realistically, yeah, that it's actually a fair price point, but it is the fact that, to be honest, I don't really play off tees that often. I, I much prefer hitting straight off the ground, personally, just because I break tees way too easily. Uh, like I said, I genuinely broke four, which is why I stopped using them. When I recently played golf with my brother, I just stopped using them, just because of that fact that I just break them. Like, I, he, I took a plastic one that was the most minute minute size it's like that i put it in swung looked i had cracked it in half it was a brand new tea like i know that people might use them they probably will because you get 150 and realistically you only want to keep like three or so or like maybe like 30 so that you've got 10 of each then you can just use the rest but it's just it just feels like a big waste with them compared to other things the bag has now sold out it took a while purely because of the price. Black colorway sold out. Oh, and white colorway sold out in the glove. Red, they're all going to go. Wow. But black and white are first. All of the head covers are gone. The tees are now sold out. Moving on to the accessories being like the hats and such. The towels or the cart towels have now sold out. It, mm, it's like one of two things. You normally use it to like dry your club or sometimes for yourself maybe to dry off. But yeah. Uh, also, who else sees this? Please, that is that minion. That is the minion. You know the minion who's walking to the pool? <laughs> that is that right there. That is what that is. But yeah, both of the colorways have now sold out. What were they looking for? £35. That's fair. I personally have my like towel to dry like clubs and such. And then I have a separate like sweat towel for myself. Uh, just how I keep it. It's just standard and simple. But... Yeah, I mean, I can understand it. Right, let's look through the last of the collection, just see what's sold out and what's in stock. Accessories are all just flying. See, the, if these were actual, like, golf shoes, the Adidas pair, I feel like it would have been cool. But I, I'm not really looking to... Well, £94. I love how I'm like, I'm not looking to spend, but I just, I don't think I'd be able to play golf in them. 
So moving on from there, we do have one of the other pieces, two pieces sold out. Shorts are still there by some miracle. I don't know how. That pair of shorts are sold out. They were the cleanest, I think, with this like navy black looking tone to them. And that, yeah, the, the vest, fairway vest sold out. I was expecting that to go. They are really cool pieces to have. They are really good pieces to have. Um, the same hoodie that sold out in the early access has sold out and this uh, mock neck has also sold out. Other than that, the gloves are obviously starting to sell out. All of the other pieces are starting to go. To be honest, I see a majority of the collection being gone within an hour. And then by the time the US drop comes, all of theirs will sell out in the same sort of time frame. So, yeah. Uh, but that is going to cover this anyway. Uh, thank you for watching. As per norm, let me know down below whether you picked anything up from this collection. I'm sure people on Reddit are going to be saying, like, it sold out so fast. It's not fair. Where's my exclusive or early access? What are they doing? You know... I normally like that if I don't hit for a drop, so I can understand it. Uh, but yeah, if I could have afforded all of that stuff, I would. But I'm I'm fine with what I've got. I'm I. How much were they? They were sixteen hundred dollars, fifteen hundred pounds. Yeah, they're really nice, but it's just a lot of money. Golf sets in general are a lot of money to buy anyway, especially when you're going like tailor made Callaway things like that. It it, it starts to go up in price you know but yeah uh, that is going to cover it anyway thank you for watching i hope that you have a good rest of your day and i will see you all next time peace